The RCMP are warning residents about an ongoing phone scam that is targeting the Peace region. Callers portray to be an officer with the Canada Revenue Agency or other government agencies and tell victims they owe money on back taxes. And the easiest way to avoid being arrested is to purchase iTunes gift cards. It's a phone scam that has been evolving and using different tactics to take advantage of unsuspecting victims. And again, it's kind of concerning the reason we're revisiting this, you know, after the two years is in the last probably two weeks, we've had about uh, at least a dozen calls uh, from people who either, um, you know, tried to get scammed or have been scammed. Police say the callers use high pressure situations to catch the victims off guard. It's almost like extortion. They tell the person that, listen, a police officer will come and arrest you or, uh, you know, a new person to Canada might face deportation. It's, it's really high pressure. And the thing now is that with the bill, they're, they're asking, it used to be prepaid visa cards and now it's iTunes cards and they get the code off the back and then we'll turn around and, and sell the code uh, for cash. So in this case, you know, if anybody's asking, again, verif verification, but a thing that you have to ask yourself, if somebody's phoning from Canada Revenue Agency, uh, asking for iTunes cards, you got to think, what are they doing with those iTunes cards? These, these calls here, they're made to scare people. The criminals are very aggressive, threatening, even just in the messages they leave, making you believe that it's, it's the authorities or some sort of officer or government figure, you know, call back ASAP. And then when you do, they go into even more threats and pressure. And then ultimately, as you see, try and get, uh, you know, whether it's a few hundred or thousands Police say if you're unsure who is calling you, ask for their information and then hang up. Then use a phone book or the internet to verify who the person is and call them back on a direct phone line. And, and that's again the thing you have to ask yourself is, okay, what is this person asking for? Is it personal information? Well, we all know Canada Revenue Agency has our personal information. They have access to our banking information because they have social insurance numbers. So, you know, the person calling you isn't going to ask for iTunes. Again, if Revenue Canada needs to get a hold of you, they'll send you something in the mail. They'll send you a registered letter, things along those lines. They will never call you. Scammers the Canada Revenue Agency will never request payment by prepaid credit card or iTunes iTunes gift cards. Certainly wouldn't be paying with gift cards or uh, you know, video game cards or anything like that. So no, criminals use these different means because it's very easy for them to get to get that as soon as a, a, a victim gives them that card number literally within you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, they can transfer the money off that card to another card and then once that's done, it's, it's gone. There's no getting that money back. RCMP here in Fort St. John say you don't need to contact them if you receive a call. They say your best course of action is to hang up. Although the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre says they will always take information on recent phone scams and ask residents to call their toll-free number. Police also say it's a good idea to spread the word to your family and friends so they don't get swindled out of hundreds of dollars. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.